Okay, now we're going to make our curb, and it has a um, kind of a, a special technique. We're be, since we're using the floor tool, we have a function that's called a slab edge, a floor slab edge that we can use. And so I'll select that tool, but first I want to turn this to wireframe so you can see how that works. So if I come and touch one of these surfaces and click it, you'll notice now it's added this little bit of what they call a thickened floor slab. Um, and we're, we're not actually going to use that because we, what we want to use a technique to create our curb, or our, to, our, um, our curb, the same tool, but to make our, our, our curb. So I'm going to select the slab edge, and I'm going to go to Edit Type, and I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm just going to call it the curb. And... We need to give it a material category, so I'm going to give it a concrete. Um, and I don't think I have anything created. Do I have a concrete in here? I thought I just saw something. Concrete, lightweight, let's just select that. And we'll click OK so it has a materiality. Now the problem is, is that it's the profile isn't the shape that we want. We want it to be in the shape, not of a thickening of a slab edge but in the um, shape of a uh, curb. So we'll click OK for now, because what we want to do is now is we're going to open up and make a new profile. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to New. Oops. Excuse me. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to New Family. And uh, hopefully you have your family templates loaded. If you're having a problem with this, let me know. But we need to navigate into our English Imperial and we're going to look like look for a profile hosted. Profile hosted. This is a family element. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And right away, I'm going to save it with a name. So we'll do a save as. And I'm going to save that in my same folder. And I'm going to call it curb profile. It's important it has a recognizable name because we're going to be importing it into our other... Um, or other document. Okay, so that insertion point is going to be at the top corner of the sidewalk. So we're going to go ahead now and start drawing a profile shape. And I'm going to come down um, uh, six inches, make it six inches thick. I'm going to return over, and I don't have the chain command on, so I had to restart a line. I'm going to come over 16 inches, which is one foot four. and go up, and I'm looking at my notes, two inches, back a foot, and then go up to meet the top, and then come back over to complete it. I think I did that, let's see what it looks like, yep. Last thing I wanna do is give it a radius, so I'm going to look for the, oops, hmm, the radius tool. So I'm back in create and grabbing the radius tool. Select those two lines. And I'll just zoom in here and I just want to soften that edge a little bit. And that looks good. So I'm going to go save. I'm going to load it into the project. And we'll go to the model view. And that's a slab edge curb, but it doesn't look right yet because what we need is to go into edit type and select the curb profile that we've just loaded and click OK. And now we have a curb profile added to that surface. So now all we need to do is go ahead and complete all of that curb going around there. So actually I can turn this back to realistic rendering and there's our curb. And let me go ahead now and go to floor and floor slab edge and select our curb and then come up and touch that top edge and I'll scroll on down here until we come to these edges and just kind of finish that off. So now we have a sidewalk, a curb with it, and a road surface. Let's take a look at one of our rendered sheets to see what that looks like. All right, so now we haven't had to do anything with updating our output, but here we have now, if we zoom in, we have our curb, our sidewalk, and our roadway added to our drawing. So it's not starting to look uh, really quite nice. 